I mean, you've certainly were, were around for more of Taekwondo's history than, than I have been, but I've read what I can yeah. and uh, Alex Gillis's book. I don't know if that's something that you've, yeah, you've read it, yeah. through. Um, yeah. Well, a I book I, f- I find very, fascinating. Very cool. And if, if I may ask, as someone who lived part of that history, what do you think of that book? Oh, I love that book. I think it's absolutely spot on. I think he got it right. That's one of the few books I've ever read, I think, that really tells the truth uh, about Taekwondo and its history. Um, because a, a, a lot of it has been changed around. There's a lot of people want to tell a different side of the story. But I, I think it's a, a really good book. I've met Alex Gillis, and uh, I, I think uh, it's, it's a very honest straightforward book which a lot of people wouldn't want to write but he, he had the, the guts if you like to write it down guts is a good way to put it yeah that's, and and listeners yeah. long time listeners to the show know that that book comes up from time to time because it is such a different book you know there really to my knowledge mm-hmm. isn't another martial arts book that t- takes that same style to to any other any other yeah. direction so yeah, it's you know it's an outstanding book. I think mm. and something I always tell people to read. Uh, sometimes I go to meetings with people who don't understand Taekwondo, but are you know, involved in the sports councils and things like that. And to try and explain to them there's two styles of Taekwondo is very difficult when they don't understand it. So I just tell them to read that book, and I think that does the job. It it certainly does but, illustrate. A lot of the differences, without without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. 